welcome into week three of 10 and 10, the show where we take you through the 10 things you need to know ahead of Orlando City's matchup each and every week in Major League Soccer in just 10 minutes. The clock is ticking, so let's get right into it. Number one takes us straight back into the action as Orlando City's marathon start to the 2024 season continues. They will be looking to bounce back after what was a disappointing result at Chase Stadium against Inter Miami that resulted in a 5-0 loss for the Lions. Both coach Oscar Pareja and captain Robin Janssen faced the media and their message was crystal clear. Obviously very disappointed day for us. Uh, recognizing from the minute one to the end of the game that uh, didn't look like us in many areas and obviously in a team like them you cannot permit to have uh, that many spaces and lose that many duels and give them that possibility to be uh, sitting in our box in those counter attacks so, uh, first of all, we need to control the ball and not lose the ball in the bad uh, spots because we are getting a lot of transitions today against us. So uh, uh, then it's also hard for uh, for the team overall to uh, to keep the, the shape and the compactness. So uh, we have to be better on um, from today. Watching on uh, from today's game, we have to be better on overall uh, everywhere. Uh, really, really disappointed, but we're pushing as a group. Do uh, you know that I have a big respect for this group, their professionalism and what they do. And uh, if there is any responsibility, we will search and, and uh, to find answers. But this group, professionalism would never be in the line. Not good enough. Uh, it's a derby and we're coming out there with uh, no energy, I feel. Uh, we don't take control of the game like we're normally trying to do, so uh, uh, tonight was a rough one. It was not um, good enough on any part of the field, including myself, and um, yeah, I feel sorry for the fans that traveled here and uh, they deserve better. Number two brings us to some good news. Orlando City have historically not lost back-to-back -back MLS matches at any point last season. They'll look to bring that good vibe into this season as well. On the seven occasions that they picked up a loss last season, they won four and then went on to draw three after that loss. And they've already put their money where their mouth is as they've already taken to the pitch in CONCACAF Champions Cup action, the first leg in a round of 16 tie against Tigres, which is of course a rematch. Number three brings us to some context. These two sides came face to face in the 2023 CONCACAF Champions League and battled out a very intense and tightly contested one all aggregate draw across two legs with the Mexican side advancing courtesy of an away goal. Gold wide and floated up for Cordoba. Brought it down, fires and scores. Gulo header down away from the line. Bicycle kick is in! Orlando City were back for revenge this year. And number four takes us back onto the pitch. The two sides squared off in this first leg. And once again, it was a nil-nil draw. The three times that these two teams have met in recent history, each and every time has ended in a deadlock with neither side being able to edge the other. But the good news is that Orlando City were able to keep the clean sheet, meaning Tigres did not pick up the away goal that sent them through last season. Number five brings us to the players themselves. Here's what they had to say about next week's trip to El Volcan. Because we didn't give up away goal, and like you said last year, that was the difference. So hopefully we can go there and uh, get a goal and then also get a win. Uh, but we know if we get that goal, it could push us through to the next round. So. You know, we have all the confidence going there. Hopefully, we can get the result. We're very tranquil. It's an empate that was very hard. We know that the game against them is very complicated. We're going to be with our friends. We know how difficult it is to play in that stadium. But I think we're prepared. I confide in my companions that we can get a good result. The away goal is like counts double, so it's good that it was like that we kept them 0-0. Like like I said, the main focus was that, and now it's uh, full focus on next game in the league and. And then, of course, we go there and we're going to beat them. And like Dogger said, they are going to Mexico to pick up the win. But before they do that, they do return to Major League Soccer action as they welcome Minnesota United to town, which brings us to number six. 
While the Lions are undefeated in their last three matches against Minnesota United across all competitions, they did pick up their first ever win at Allianz Field in the last meeting between these two sides back in April of 2023. Ivan Angulo and Duncan McGuire were on the score sheet for the 2-1 win. Let's relive it. United look quite different this season. Minnesota have actually started the 2024 season with four points across two matches, which brings us to number seven. Here's their win against Austin FC. Sangbin Jung drives it in, Stuber got a piece, and finally the breakthrough! Clark with support, drives in a beautiful ball for Olus Hawani! Ain't it on, and there's the second! Alejandro Bran, Costa Rican, and it's a goal! Has his first MLS goal in his first MLS game. And the theme of bringing the drama late continued for Minnesota United as they also brought it as late as they could possibly bring it against Columbus. Bouncing around. Olawasei, Schulte off his line. It's Olawasei! Absolute save to Allianz! And it's a first in MLS for the St. John's product. 1-1! And number eight brings us to the slogan, it's better late than never. While Orlando City are still looking for their first MLS goal of the 2024 campaign, this will feel very familiar. Orlando City also did not score a goal in open play across their first three matches until Duncan McGuire hit the back of the net in a one-all draw against DC United last season. Coming in at number nine is some other milestones to keep an eye out for Facundo Torres, our designated player, is just two goals shy from tying Nani at 31 goals for second all-time in club history, while Luis Muriel's next assist will be his 75th of his career after picking up number 74 in his Orlando City debut against Cavalry. And coming in at lucky number 10 is Orlando City's undefeated streak on home soil in MLS regular season matches. This now spans across 13 regular season matches as Orlando City will look to make it 14 
against Minnesota United. Their last loss on home soil and regular league play came back on April 22nd of last year. That's it for this episode of 10 and 10. We'll see you same time, same place next week.